Welcome to Aims for the Win. Today I am painting a succulent pot. I got this cute little succulent in a cute little vase. I'm gonna show it here somewhere because I forgot to do an intro before, but I was gonna put some cute little succulent humor on it with my Cricut, like work sucks because I got it from work and it's a succulent and it kind of makes a funny little joke. But the more I stared at it at my desk, the more I thought I could do something better than a pun. Is there anything better than a pun? I don't know. Um, I do love my puns. Anyways, so I painted this. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be right here somewhere. Um, this is an idea I've been working on in my sketchbook. It's one of my favorite new little swirly drawings. Um, it's kind of got a little stair stepper effect with the colors. And I guess that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, I suppose I should switch to looking at the video while I'm talking so I know what I'm talking about still. But. I went ahead and I sanded this thing um, just because I thought it felt like it needed some and after I sanded the top part I realized I should sand the bottom part so it's all the same thing. Um, I shouldn't have sanded so much because little holes started to appear in the ceramic. Um, it worked out anyway. So I sanded it. I got my Posca pins a couple weeks ago and I've been playing with them. They are a little different than I expected. I don't know if I got a bad batch or whatnot, but sometimes they work perfectly and other times they just, they feel like they're dry already. So I don't know if I need to work on my prepping my skills to make sure that works better. Um, don't know where that was going. My video cut out. In the middle so here we have this cute little pot some people would think it's adorable I think it's a little basic no offense um, and I've already hurt it a little and so in order to not damage it any further I'm going to put it in this cute little cup maybe maybe so, if you watch crafty videos and you've heard of Nerdy Crafter, here we're going to use a sharp pointy object to dislodge it. And it didn't take much. So there's... Ugh. Look how dry that... See, I'm killing it. That is... You shouldn't trust me with plants. But, we got it in the little pot. And here we go. I'm going to start by sanding it. At first I thought I was just going to sand the top part because it felt too smooth. And once I started sanding some more I realized the pink was coming off. So then I just sanded the whole thing. And I did not record it because it was long and boring. Okay, so this was me drawing on it. You see that? It went off the screen and I've got to get better at that. Um... So you didn't see me draw it, but there's my doodle, and here we go. Starting with the first color. Um, I don't really know what to say while we're watching this. There you can see me trying to get some more paint to come out faster. Um, if you have any tips on Posca pens, leave a comment and let me know how you get them to work. So I'm coloring the main section and then I'm moving in one direction around. I'm doing the circles up the same color and then the circles down the next color. If it kind of makes sense in my head, I don't, it, I don't know how to say it out loud. It's weird. Um, and I tried to mix the colors up because I don't have a full rainbow in the kit that I got. I'm missing orange and purple and violet so I tried to not do a weird rainbow um, 
I think I should possibly cut some of this out. Because <laughs> I uh, don't know if you guys want to watch me color the whole thing. And you, here you can see the blue. Like sometimes, see it's not working. Then it works again. It's weird. <laughs> Here's the yellow. Fast forwarding a little bit here. I don't know why I like these swirlies. I just really do. They're fun. You can turn them into all kinds of things. Alright, we are done coloring that in. We are going to move on to the mines. I bought this awesome silver paint pen at Walmart. Not for this project, but look how awesome that looks. So here... I'm just going to line all these lines. Um, in the sketchbook, I would do black Sharpie on the lines and then I would color it in. But with the paint pens, it really works best to do the coloring first and then lining on top. Um, there's that and some swoops. Sometimes I don't hit the exact line and I have to go over it a little bit more. Like there. <laughs> but you know, that's all part of the process. Learning to fix your mistakes is a really good skill to have. I thought about continuing the colors up on the top and doing silver lines in between them. But I... I don't know, the silver on top seemed to fit the best. There's that. This is me trying to get every little piece colored in. I really like the silver. It's my favorite one. I like it more than the Posca. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so here is that. This is before the top coat. And it's time to repot my dry little succulent. I make a mess every time. But that's okay. I feel like that's my my saying. Every, every YouTuber has a little saying that they say all the time. Mine is, that's okay. Alright, so we're going to put some water in. Maybe we can still save this guy. I'm, I don't know. It might be a lost cause. Okay. Here's the finished product. You can see it's a little shiny now. Oh, water drop. I really like this, but I know I've already recorded the outro on this, and I think I've already said that. All right, so here we go. So here is my final product. Um, I'm not that great with plants. I may have already killed it before I even started this process. Um, so if I did kill it, I'll get another one to put in there. Um, I think it was traumatized a little bit by the, well, by having dry soil, um, it probably needed to be watered <laughs> a week ago. Um, but I'll see what happens. But this is, you can see in... The video, I had a yellow in there, and I ma it made it look kind of circusy. y um, I, I almost painted over the whole thing when it was done because I didn't like the the circusy look to it. And my daughter stopped me and said, it's fine. And I said, fine. And I'm glad I listened, but I'm also glad that I changed that yellow. I think it was either this green or that green. Um, it's not quite as circusy anymore. So there's my final guy. 
I did end up doing a spray sealer on it. Um, there's no video of that because we were working on a Pinewood Derby car when I did it and I just was like, we'll seal it. Um, so there we go. Super cute. I can rotate it and have a little bit of different view every time. Um, so there's that. Okay. I'm running out of storage on my phone. I'm also trying to figure out my new little setup here, but it's not working as well as I thought it would. Um, if you like this video, you want to see more content like this, please give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post because obviously I'm not posting on any kind of schedule right now. Maybe I'll fix that in the future. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching.